Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and once again, it's cast time. So, let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. Um, this is going to be a... A live Leon? Uh, a live -Leon? That's really hard to pronounce, but, uh, drums in the deep wood. Um, I did... I listened to a small part of this. The music is... It's basically dungeon synth, but it's... It's okay. Like, it's not it's not great or anything like that, but the main reason I got it is just because of the album cover. <laughs> Looks cool as hell. So, you got some bearded bros right here. So, anyway. Go ahead and get that going. And, um, I think I'm going to have quite a bit that I have to cover. Um, and it's going to be fairly involving. And so, um, and it might actually be glitchy in some parts. So it just certain components of OBS it doesn't play nice with what I wanted what I wanted to do. So, so yeah, just just to give a heads up, things might not go things might not go as planned on here. So, uh, but anyway, to start with, um, the daily pinball session this time around it kicked ass. Unlike yesterday, like total opposite, but just um, the, the FX3 part of the session, I mean, that went, I think I took first place in like, probably like two or three, uh, on two or three tables, I think I took first place um, on some other, um, I think I had a few other tables, I think I, I ranked pretty high, um, and I... I don't think I had any bad ones. Yeah, I think they're all. Yeah, they're all pretty. They're all pretty high ranking and end up beating a few. But um, one thing that one thing that I did start doing is um. Usually I would just go straight for the tournament that looked beatable, like any of them. But I've actually gotten burned by that a few times because some of these tournament tournaments that I was entering lasted like a month. So, so yeah, the, the results won't be in for like several weeks until after I've done them. So, what I decided to go ahead and do instead, and just only do the tournaments that are going to end in like a day or two, or a few days at most, and not tournaments that like last a month. So, I just started doing it like that. And that way, so... On my next stream, I could actually see a lot more results. You know, you know, right? You know, it kind of it kind of makes sense in my head, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn this down a bit. Close enough. But yeah. Anyway, um. But yeah, that was FX3. Good session. Um, okay, I'm just going to call this mistake number one. Uh, but uh, Pinball Arcade, I think it, was, think it went the same way. Went great. Um, man, I've got... i got a memory failure right now. I just... I can't recall any specific instances... Yeah, yeah, I just remembered. Um, I think um, I think I took the top five, or I think I placed in the top five um, in a few of the tables I did, and uh, all the rest of them, I was competent. Like, no glaring weaknesses, no royal screw-ups or anything like that, so just a good, solid performance overall. So, and, and as, and probably even better, there was no tournament yet. There wasn't a tournament either. Unlike yesterday, they had a they're streaming some tournament in Oklahoma City, so my whole audience is over there checking that out. Well, apparently there was no tournament today, so they all came to check me out. But yeah, like I said, um, good stream overall. There was um, 
There's something else I was wanting to say, too. I can't remember what. Oh, well. Uh, but another... Th and another thing, I don't... But for the most part, just doing the usual slacking and napping. I think I'd already taken a, taken a couple naps today. Um, and it's starting to feel like I need to take a third. We'll see. And then one, one thing that definitely did stand out was, uh, I watched this short documentary, um, uh, A World Under Glass. Uh, just a, it's a pinball arcade out in Florida. But, um, but the, the owner and the main mechanic, they're a husband and wife. But, uh, they were, uh, they were lamenting about, um, all the classic tables have gone the way of the dodo, and they're all into like the mo into like the modern day tables, like the ones that have big TV screens and stuff like that. So we're almost kindred spirits in that. While I'm not a I'm not a strict retro retro table person, but yeah, well, probably around the time when when they started putting TV screens in the tables is when I pretty much lost interest. They were saying the same thing, but. They're also speaking from a practicality standpoint too, because uh, those uh, modern tables are a bitch to maintain. It, it just—I think it's kind of like cars. You know the uh, the old beat up junker clunkers. They might be old junker clunkers, but they're a hell of a lot more easier to repair than these days. You know, like the computer brain goes out in your car, your car is fucked. Like you, you basically gotta wait for this, or you have to purchase, or you have to leave your car in the shop just all because of this one chip that went out but a lot of these modern tables I guess are like that as well or the um the answer to their issue I mean on a classic table you know if there's a problem with it I guess you can for the most part tell just by looking what's wrong with it it's kind of hard to know on a modern one you have to do like a a diagnostic test on on a modern one, and if a, if a pinball machine is anything like a car, it'll probably give you a code. Then you gotta you gotta look up that code, find out what's wrong with it, and then you gotta you gotta replace the appropriate chip or whatever. You know, I mean, the old old cars were like that too, or you know, the old cars and the modern cars were like that too. On the old ones, you know, if uh. I'm, it kind of I'm, I'm trying to process. I'm trying to process it, but you know it's. But you know, again, if you had an issue, if you had an issue on an old car, you knew what was wrong with it. Like, you know, like almost immediately, because cars back then were a lot simpler. It ain't like now where, you know, they give you just about anything. You know, lots of moving parts. You know, more functions mean more malfunctions. But um, they were talking about the same thing about pinball. The modern machines are a lot harder to maintain. And then I guess the, the in case anybody asked the question, well, why do you have modern machines in your arcade? Well, because because the customers love them. I think that's exactly what they said too. Customers love them. So they love them. Some Wizard of Oz and Metallica and Black Knight, Iron Rage, or whatever the hell that. Whatever the hell the name of the table is. So, but like I like I like I said a few moments ago though too, I'm not I'm not a 100% retro lover or anything like that. Ultimately, I like them all. But um, but I guess the or for me the technological apex of pinball was probably the 90s with the black and orange DMD screens. You know, Medieval Madness, Monster Bash, stuff like that. And that, as far as technology goes, that's my sweet spot. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Here. Yeah, 
you know, and uh, now that I think about it, some of the with the pinball that I've streamed over the years, I've actually um, I've actually gotten a few compliments from people. You know, I'll play a I'll play a really for lack of a better word, soothing, a real soothing table like El Dorado, um, Big Shot, these old classic tables that were like wide open, like like in the middle of the table. You know, they're really quiet, no music. You know, no, no excessive sound effects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Kind of unlike what you see in these modern tables. You know, they're all lit up like Christmas trees. They're all noisy. They're all musical. And then again, with the tables that have the TV screens, they're real visual. So it's like this really big assault on your senses. So, like I, you know, like I said a few moments ago, it, I've actually. I've actually gotten compliments for some of my viewers. They really like these old tables that I'm playing. They're very relaxing. All you hear is just the roll of the ball. You know, just roll the ball down the table. You know, just a little bit of a little bit of a ding, you know, the flippers ping 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 ping. You know, bouncing off the flippers. You know, rolling in the inlay. You know, roll it up and down the end lane. You know, just really, um, again, a really quiet, relaxing table. You know, but uh, I guess on the downside of those retro ones, um, for those of you that have seen me stream uh, Zachariah Pinball, they're basically pachinko machines with flippers. There's like no ball save on them. So, if the ball goes from, uh, from plunger to the drain, tough titty. So, man, unless you manage to hit absolutely nothing between the between the plunger and the drain, then yeah, you can you can plunge the ball again. But if you hit just one single switch, one single bumper, one single slingshot, and it goes straight down the middle after, yeah. Too bad so so I guess that it, that is one big knock on the retro tables whereas uh on these modern tables they're a lot more smarter with the ball save you know I mean I mean it's got a ball save and it knows up the the timer stops when necessary and restarts when necessary it's not a it's not like the the modern tables on Zachariah they, they might have ball saves but they're very dumb like uh they'll start count the ball save timer will start counting down no matter where the ball is at. So if the ball is like stuck, you know, stuck up in the bumpers, it's still counting down anyway. So, but like I said, the modern tables, I mean, that is one upside. They're more player friendly. So. Uh, but enough on that. Um, and another article that Jessica Wildfire that, that she put up. Uh, brand spanking new. Never knew about this, but uh, apparently this is going to be the new pandemic. Uh, Monkeypox. So, and, uh, I actually did a little bit of research on it, and yeah, it is not pretty. It's almost as bad as smallpox. So. Ooh, ooh, you know. But, um, Last I but last I read about it, it's not fatal, or it's fatal in only like a small handful of cases. Um, and it's it's overall less transmissible. But uh, in but in this in this in this country, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, it, and I think she's gonna say it too. It's pretty much going to become a pandemic. I, I, okay, I got to turn that down. Yeah, I got to... That's fine from my end. Yeah, I got I to gotta pull the headphones off. This is one of those... This is one of those weird albums. It's one of those weird ones. It's just... You know, I'm... I'm looking at the sound meter. It's basically in the normal range. 
I'm looking at my I'm looking at the volume in my headphones. It's normal range, but it's coming in freaking loud as hell. So I don't know what the deal is. But But anyway, getting back to getting back to what I was talking about, um I don't want to spend too much time on this. Whoa, shoot. Thought the computer was going to crash here for a second. Um, but yeah, it... But yeah, I got a feeling it's going to it's gonna be a pandemic. Um, if COVID was anything to go by. Um, you know, now that I think about it... I mean, if you're going to be running around with a bunch... If you're going to be running around covered in nodules, I could see them really putting their foot down for something like this. I mean, you know, because let's just say President Joe Biden gets it. He's got to go up on that podium in front of the entire country. All these cameras are on him with all these nodules and pustules all over his face. All over his face and hands. Yeah, that, that, that ain't, you know, that's not going to be pretty. You yeah, definitely don't want that to happen. I mean, unlike something like, something like COVID. You know where bait where basically you get you get cold and flu-like symptoms and then with the possibility of death afterwards. You know, fairly cut and dried. I mean, it ain't like you know it ain't like monkeypox. You know, you're basically getting smallpox symptoms. You know, I'm sure uh, that's gonna you know that's gonna shut down the that's gonna shut down reality TV stars like like Cardi B and Kim Kardashian. They'd have to cancel quite a few episodes if they got monkeypox. So yeah, the whole, the whole industrial entertainment industry, yeah, that'll turn to shit if they let this disease run wild. So I can, I can actually see them putting their foot down on this. This is the age of TikTok and the internet and all that. So the economy would pretty much come to a screeching halt if the, if monkeypox became a pandemic. Like I said, let me let me do kind of a quickie dicky thingy on this uh, article. Something everybody should be concerned about. And I, yeah, I think I just said that too. The exact words of President Joe Biden. Hey, let's clicky the linky. Yeah, uh, the hill. Biden says everybody should be concerned about monkeypox. That announcement comes as a young child was just rushed to the hospital. After being diagnosed... Whoa! Well, let's look at that. Yeah, young child in intensive care with monkeypox in London Hospital. Yummy! There in the intensive care unit now, so I'd say that rolls off some of the earlier theories about spread being limited to certain communities. Those initial assumptions read of homophobia and bigotry. I guess. Scientists are stunned right now. Okay, I don't want to have to go through clicking every single one of these links, so... I'll just do it for this one. Monkeypox, scientists, stunned by spread of virus in Europe and North America. I'm stunned by this. Every day I wake up and there are more countries infected. This is not the kind of spread we see in West Africa, so there may be something happening in the West. Yeah, I think it was this part here. This is what got me interested in this article. What evolved to fill the gap left by smallpox. So yeah, we could be seeing a new smallpox in this country. Eric Feigl Dingle, who predicted the last pandemic, said CDC is announced about theoretical risk of monkeypox spread. Yup. But like I said, because uh, because there's such a there's a cosmetic component to this disease, I got a feeling they're gonna they're really gonna be taking steps to eradicate eradicate this virus again the uh 
this would sh pretty much shutter the entertainment industry. I mean, nobody. I mean, nobody wants cameras on their face when they're covered in pustules. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink here. Say we should be taking precautions like wearing masks and dusting off some world. Like I said before, I got a, I got a feeling they're going to. Oh. All right, maybe not. Somehow they feel confident with Cherry. It's a familiar smugness. Yup. Yup. Uh, yep. How much Uber it takes to call a disease mild, even as a child lies in the hospital. Yup. Okay, um, I'm gonna say, at least in my neck of the woods, it hasn't really been that bad. But then again, um, I work the night shift, so I'm only I'm only out in public like towards the late starting in the late evening, so I'm not I'm not there during rush hour or anything like that. And, uh, at least in my neck of the woods, if, um, if the county I live in, if they do have a if they have a high-risk period, then yeah, everybody around where I live is required to wear masks. But, I can't recall I can't recall that ever happening, but again, we're I mean, we're keeping tabs on it. Promoting the myth of Macron is mild. Reinforcing the wish for the by our politicians and public health officials. Okay, and this one here, I'm definitely going to want to click. Large U.S. study. Okay. Um, I have an add-on on my browser called NoScript. So... That's why you're seeing this big gray area. Oh, it's from Reuters. Omicron was a mouth and all amounts paid dearly. Oh, okay. Did not know that. I thought, um, when I first saw this article, I thought uh, monkeypox was something brand spanking new. No, it's actually been out a while. Uh, 3,000 cases of monkeypox every year. Yup. Yup. Rampant one region of the world. Relatively unexpected some vaccines that could have solved the problem, at least theoretically. They didn't give to yep. I'll go ahead and highlight that. They didn't give two shits about it because it wasn't them. But but I'm sorry if this is a dead horse issue right now. But again, I gotta. Because uh, there's such a cosmetic component to this disease, I got a feeling they're going to. You know, again, when uh, with somebody in the entertainment industry, um, Justin Bieber, or or again Cardi B, or some famous actor or actress, once they start, once those nodules start popping up around their face and on their hands, etc., yeah, they're all gonna start carrying. I mean, they're all gonna start carrying. I mean. Be kind of hard to shoot their next movie when they got you know, you know, nodules all over them. Scary as shit. I thought problems from developing world would never reach their own. Yup. I can't happen here. Yeah, I think um, now that I think about it, the uh, the Delta variant of um, of COVID. 
they were, um, they were, I think they were saying, oh, that problem's way down south, Joe. We ain't ever gonna get it up here. Well, we got it up here. So. A disease, big hand spreading in a non-Western country. Experts tried to warn us. Wasn't behaving like they expected. Nobody listened. Yup. Yup. I just said this. Oh, I gotta look at something real quick. Okay, album's halfway through. Oh, by the way, um, this kind of feels like a dick move, but I have, um, I have my headphones off. Like I said, it, I'm also figuring maybe, maybe anybody checking out this video might actually like this music. So I'll just leave it on. But like I said, like I said earlier, it just, it just, I mean, all the, all the sound levels and stuff, check out, they're all nice and normal, but yet it's coming in loud as hell. So, this is an album that must hit all the right notes. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take another drink here real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this one as well. Yeah, it's made a sloppy over the last few decades, and uh, I've said this in other casts. I'll go ahead and say it here. Um, I'm no spring chicken. Um, for a while, I actually was wearing my mask, um, especially during, again, especially during like rush hour and stuff like that. Or if I if if I saw a whole bunch of people in a building, I had my mask on. But at, again, at some point, mostly because um, I'm only really out in the late evenings. When there's not that many people out, I don't wear, or I no longer wear. Vaccine campaigns. I almost want to highlight this one too. Okay, so. It has been 27 minutes, so it seems I've gone a little over long on this, and uh, I'm only like halfway through the article. Um, because there's a, there is one more thing I need to cover. So, um, what the hell? Okay. Uh, so shortly after. At some point yesterday, after uh, finishing up my cast video, um, still looking, still looking. Um, I'll, I'll just I'll start with here. Um, one thing that OBS has is called Media Source. Now, um, what this does. We'll just say title of some audio, some audio video thingy. And we'll just do that. Now, hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys should be able to. Um, now, I, I don't remember where I read it. But I saw that you could um, you, you can um, you can do video files, but you could also do audio files as well. But for a while, I, for the longest time, I didn't know how, cause. Okay, so here's some um. Okay, so here's some. Here's some pictures. Let me. These are gifts. But like I said, here's um Oh here we are, here we are, here. This is gonna take a while, there's a lot going on on my computer. You know I could um I could double click one of these, any one of my video video files. Um uh, but like I said, I also um I also read somewhere that 
You can also do it with sound files. Well, I learned, I um, I remembered something. Like I have uh, these two examples here. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain this. But um, uh, yeah, I might have to do this in a separate window. Find it. Right, I'll just go ahead and do this. Um, documents. Yeah, here it is. So, um, if you look, uh, what are the reasons why uh, Media Source wasn't uh, wasn't finding my audio files? Is um. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but um, the extension on these files are M4A, which apparently OBS doesn't recognize, so uh, what I ended up doing, if I, can find a, if I can find a short one. Yeah, here's one. Um, retard, what the fuck? So all you have to do is just simply rename it to a wave file. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Choose yes. And ta-da! There it is. My OBS recognizes wave files. So if I want to make a if I wanted a if I want OBS to capture a sound file, just simply change it to a wave file. Now we'll just say I'll just choose that. So, yeah, that might be a little loud. So, turn that down a bit. So, this is going to help me out big time, because what I can do now is I can use my Windows voice recorder. In fact, this is what I did for, um, wrong one. In fact, this is what I did for... This is what I did for uh, these three here. I used my soundboard. I combined. I combined it with uh, my Windows Voice Recorder. I just did that. Um, I'll have to show you on here. Uh, again, I'm really hoping you guys could see this. Uh, use the trim tool. So we'll say oh, let's go with that one. Might not be perfect, but um if you can see here the trim tool. Like if you uh if you have a sound file and if you want to cut it down a bit, or if you want to use like say this portion of that sound file, then you can do that. So, but like I said, this is what I did with, uh, I'll just kill that. This is what I did with, uh, with these three here. Just, uh, played my soundboard, recorded it with the, uh, voice recorder, trimmed it up and stuff, and saved it as a sound file. But like I said, it, when you save it, it's saved as an M4A file, not a WAV file. So, OBS won't recognize it then. So what you can do here is simply rename it. Change the extension to a WAV file. And now... And now OBS recognizes it. Ta-da! So, so what this... But like I said a few minutes ago, this is going to help me out in spades right here. Because now... I don't have to use I don't have to use my uh, Windows Movie Maker to you know to make up uh, to make these because for the longest time what I had to do is um I would have to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually click any of this but I would have to click this add videos and photos add whatever image I want and then excuse and then um record the narration over it and there will be a little drop down menu 
that uh, are allow you to choose a sound file. But uh, the big problem I had with this, and I guess I'm gonna have to, and I actually did complain about this in other cast videos. So let's just say I wanna use, I'll grab this one here. Ooh, actually, that one there might be too big. So let's go with, <laughs> I picked this one up a long time ago, so I'll go ahead and use this. Don't worry, I, I'm vaccinated, so. But if you look at the dimensions, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's 400 by 346. It's a really small, small image. But unfortunately, it's gonna, it's gonna fill up the entire screen. Now, Oh shit, that's right, it's preparing the files. But like, but as you can see here, like I said, this is actually a very small image. I don't want it to be this full size sucker, but the thing of it is, there is no option in, the, in Movie Maker to adjust the size of it. So. So let me go ahead and kill that. But now, what I can do here instead is since I have the um, audio file right here. Let's just go ahead and type that down, not, not vaccinated. See, see how small that is? That's exactly the size I want, and best of all, if I need it bigger or smaller, I can... You know, I can... I can do that, so... And then... Uh-oh, don't crash. Okay. Let's just go ahead and... Turn them both off. And then I do need to check something on here. Just say go here to settings and I'm gonna set up a hotkey for those two sources and I'm hoping you guys can see this so let's go okay I'm in behind the scenes and then we can set the hotkey to let's just say alt alt Q and then when doing hotkeys for this, it's going to show and hide. If you put the same hotkey on, on both of them, then it's just like the tooltip says, it acts as a toggle. So, it's the same thing here. Same thing here. Then click apply. And so now... Ta-da! So, so this is really gonna enhance my quality of life when it comes to me making these videos, or making damn near any other kind of content for that matter. Because once again, I now have one less reason to use uh to use Windows Movie Maker. And um, I did try uh, looking for other uh other uh, movie makers too yesterday. Uh, I think I found one, but it's gonna take a long time till I can figure out how it works um, it is a step in the right direction so it, it kind of is what I'm looking for but like I said it's gonna take a lot of work for me to try to make it work but until then I got good old OBS right here but once again I'm fully vaccinated so I I just saw that on the internet and I thought it was funny as hell so I went ahead and saved it Let me try that one more time. Ah! 
Oh, shoot. The screen kind of went black for a moment. But anyway, um, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, <laughs> it's been about 40 minutes, so yeah, I, I kind of overachieved on this one. So, so, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. I always do. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, which will be the last one for the week. So, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming by, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.